you're going, no, oh, he did it. I cannot believe he did that. It's crazy. Hope this ain't an indication of how this whole shit's gonna go. Dan and I, we receive a call for a man down, and Keely's taking this call with us. We have a person unresponsive, a uh, possible drug overdose. Got a big problem with heroin over the last year or so. Uh, we come across it a whole lot, way too often. All right, I got a flag or I'm in the area. All right, we got it. Look at this crew, bro. Oh, he out. Did y'all get him knocked? He out, dude. Let's bag him up. He's out, out. I see this young cat laying on the street. I mean, he's not moving. In my mind, I already knew. Heroin overdose. All right, let's get him going, then. Snowing, breathing. Grab your Narcan. Okay. Here's your Narcan. We can't establish IV on this guy, so we're going to get him Narcan intranasal, because we got to act fast. He's barely breathing, and we're losing precious time. No, what's his name, baby? You gave the eye in already? Yeah, she gave it to me. Hey, there, there, there it is. There we go. What up, what the oh. No touch. Oh. What's up, dude? Yeah, shaky. What happened? We're paramedics. Relax. <laughs> you was down on the ground. You was breathing like maybe five times a minute. My partner right here just gave you some Narcan. I'm sure you're familiar with the Narcan. All right? You are in my team. He's a paramedic. <laughs> We're all paramedics. Trav, just what you said, since we gave you that Narcan, man, we got to run you to the hospital, right, dude? We can bring you to the one right down the street right here. So I'm going to get a bill, right? But Trav, you just land well, on the hey, ground, man. A, a bill is a lot better than dead or going to jail, right? Right. right. Yes. Right. You look like a Thank smurf. You. Come on, big man, let me help you, on, you out. Let me help you out. An overdose is such a weird thing. You wake up, you got, you know, these paramedics around you, people telling you stuff that you don't have any clue that happened. I mean, it, it's a really weird situation. It's a lot for someone to take in. Narcan does not reverse the opiates. It just blocks it temporarily. This can happen again. So from what I heard, y'all saved my life. I appreciate That's exactly it. what happened. I love to hear that. Most of the time, people are pretty mad when they wake up. They're mad at you. They're mad at, you know, their high is gone. They're all kinds of stuff. But this guy was the polar opposite of pretty much every overdose I've ever run. I appreciate it. Y'all do a good job. Thank I appreciate you. it. This is a, a lesson learned. It really is. Well, that's what we that's what we hope it is. I didn't get into this until yeah, early this year. That's the first time it happened to me. Just hit a little bit at a time, and I was like, man, this is just like pain pills. That is why the heroin epidemic is bad right now, because the doctors don't want to give out prescription pain pills anymore. Cool kid, man. He's well spoken. But yet, heroin doesn't have any age, race, creed, sexual preference, or anything. Heroin affects anyone and everyone, if you let it. So I want to with uh, the diesel because it's the diesel. you never know what's in it. Right. And it's messed up. It is, because people die every day from it, man. Hey, look, we're going to run you to the hospital. So All right, you ready? You good, T? I don't think we'll ever see him in that situation again. I think it was a very much a life-changing experience for him. 3220. We'll put us en route to New Orleans East. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. <laughs> Ran the nozzle. Ran the nozzle. No, they're not dead. I can work with that.